to get possessed by the devil. Oh, hell no. I know why I'm going to be the first to die. It's because y'all are going to sacrifice me. How do you bang a ghost? Welcome to the vlogs. This is our motto. Remember it. Women don't ever forget it. Don't want you. Shot. You guys are fucking stupid. It's not an an N. That's a W. What it says women it? don't I, owe you I, I, shit. I can't read. It says women don't owe you shit. Can one of you help me put this stuff in the car? Women don't owe us shit, so you can you can put it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> were invited to stay at the oldest house in Maryland. The owner claimed that us staying overnight would be an interesting experiment. They claim that most visitors are unable to make it through the night due to the traumatic paranormal experiences. We're stopping to get gas because one of the mistakes that people make in horror movies is we their tank away. is always empty and then the car doesn't work and then they can't get out of there. Why don't we just go with the tank empty? So just in case something bad happens, we actually can't escape. I'm trying to make things entertaining That's for the video. Not. I'm trying to live. The point of this is to live on the edge. Do they stay there with you? Like yeah. the owners? You mean the man that lives in the attic? And they're gonna give us a tour, right? I mean, they can. Who do you think is gonna be the lucky one who gets to bang the ghost tonight? Bang the ghost? How do you bang a ghost? That would be a <laughs> real blind date. <laughs> 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 Joy just texted. She said, I'm here. I'm just waiting for you guys to go up the driveway. No way I'm going alone. <laughs> I bought a bunch of ghost hunting equipment from Amazon. People. It's not top of the line, but it will get the job done. Whoever captures the most ghosts tonight wins a uh, popsicle. Uh, yeah, a fucking popsicle. A popsicle. A meat popsicle. Uh, oh, God, Nick, you got, you got to, had to make it weird. Is oh, that's it? Yeah, that's it. There she is. Time to go capture some ghosts. This house is over 170 years old, just mm -hmm. here, but it was built on top of a plantation that burned down. So all the ghosts that are around are very much like residents of the house in previous times. It actually is like haunted. Oh. Like it's not just like a joke or anything. Very much. I myself and other guests have experiences on the daily basis here. I mean, is, that's crazy. Do examples? Like, <laughs> what, what should we expect? Well, uh, two nights ago, there was a group that came in just to do a performance because they were a band. They were not here for paranormal at all. And for whatever reason, someone walked by the purple bedroom and saw a man standing with a golf club and he was gone. Oh. Golf, golf is scary. <laughs> Friendly ghosts. Are they sweet? And there's one that's a little bit more mischievous um, that has appeared primarily to females. And they're all <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo! So everybody but that guy and then the ghosts themselves don't even like him, whoever he may be. Hate Seriously. a pervy ghost. Yes. So <laughs> why are you looking at me? <laughs> Thought it was a ghost that opened the door for a second. Oh, did you? Yeah, it's pretty creepy in here. What do you think? I feel like it's really old. It smells like my grandmother's house. You sense the ghost? Yeah. You do? Mm-hmm. I don't want to be here in the dark. Oh, Julie was petrified. No, I, I Julie, feel like... Don't worry. It, I, it's like somebody's sitting on my chest. No, nobody's Straight going up. to... Even if they're bad ghosts, they can't be yeah, that. You also said that they were nice. There's one pervy one, but the rest are nice. <laughs> I'd probably get the pervy one. <laughs> I've always wanted to have sex with the ghost, I will admit. Okay, so this is the part of the scary movie where everyone's happy, they're eating, but the sun's going down and it's getting dark. And that's when all the ghosts come out. Are you ready for this experience? Yeah, Mom I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Cheers. Are you ready? Oh, hell no. How many milligrams? Wait, I can't. I'm assuming special. they're stuck. I got it. I got special it. candy. It's 10 milligrams each. No, thank you. God. Join us. That is probably, absolutely the worst idea. That is the last thing you do when you go to a haunted house. For any of you watching who are debating on going to a haunted house, do not take an edible. But let's drink. Yeah, but Corey and I are gonna drink, so. <laughs> who is the first to die in the horror movie? Obviously. Oh no, it's not obvious. I wasn't gonna buy them. Oh, That's actually, you're right. Yeah. Why between Nick and Allie? Wait, what? Who's the person died? Why me? <laughs> Wait, no. People comment that Nick is. Why? Why did my name get thrown out there? No, it's gonna be you. It's the, the quirky, clumsy. Women don't owe you shit. <laughs> Here's why I think you'd be the first to go. The reason why is because 
Nick has length over you. Okay, Fair. first of all, so he'd be like very close second, but he's he also die larger. Second. How much? No, 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 harder body. To everyone here is worth larger. Less. I know why I'm gonna be the first to die. It's because y'all are gonna sacrifice me. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no you know, you know, if there was a don't even fuck with me. If there was like a group vote of who would no. here, you're gonna sacrifice. It's me. No, I'm, I'm like only here by default because no one else would come. <laughs> I feel like we're all pretty laid back. If the ghosts come, yeah. they come. We're just gonna hang out, you know? It feels Something's like gonna come tonight. Something on my leg here. I feel like there's a ghost like on my leg just like grinding up oh, on it's, me. It's, it's mm, Marky, the dog. The I'm ghost nice. dog. Brandon, it's your hair, the little you have on your leg. No, this never happens. It's because I, the air I shaved my leg. That's why. It's the air conditioning blowing on it. I don't know. I think it's a ghost humping my leg. You feel like it's humping or brushing? It's definitely humping it. my leg right now. Allegedly, there's a pervy ghost. Brandon. Yeah, I, the pervy ghost pervy. is humping me. But he likes girls, not boys. Well, maybe. I don't know. I do have long hair. Life. The darkness is now upon us. Yep. It is time for the ceremonial tequila shot. Because if we're gonna survive tonight and potentially die. We might as well be drunk. Wait, is that also ghost hunt, that? hunting technology? Yes. <gasps> this is top of the line. It's not top of the line. I spent $20,000 on this ghost hunting equipment. You can see through this? No fucking way. Yeah. Wait, I want something. Oh, I got something for you, Julie. Okay. I got something for everyone. I always come prepared. I don't know exactly how this works. What is it? Oh, oh, I, I know what this is. I know what this is. You do? Yeah, One, you. you're supposed uh, to hold uh, them and the spirits will make them move. Mom, what are you doing? Put, put the walkie talkie. Yeah. I don't know how to use it. It's <laughs> literally this. a child. <laughs> so, what are you doing? <laughs> Allie, you get a $5,000 lantern. Whoa. Thank God. This is, this is basically your bonus. Let there be light. $5,000 lantern. <laughs> Who's in charge of the walkie talkies in case one of the ghosts takes us into the special room? I need later. one. I need one. You do? Okay. Who wants a walkie talkie? Me. Are you going to treat this seriously? Wait, this is yes. an expensive piece of equipment. Wait, there are only three? Are you treating this seriously? Give it to me. I will share it. I love walkie talkies. What do you say? Please give it to me. But will you be responsible? Yes. Give me the fucking thing. I'm stick it up your little ass. Make sure. Ew. Make sure. <laughs> You it's have so the best thin. one. What does it mean? What do the different colors mean? It, it means, means ghosts. Oh, oh. oh my god! Oh my god! I was getting. I don't like that. Me. Julie, can you please sh your pants for the video? I could sh my pants for the no video. Problem. I'll give you a hundred bucks if you sh your pants. This is a bounty or is it only she, for Allie? Wait. Allie. I mean, I mean, whoever sh their pants gets a hundred bucks. Okay, straight up, <laughs> Allie and Corey have an advantage. They're yeah. both diseased. Hey, I sh my pants in the last year. I have an advantage. No, you. F that is true. Oh, my pants today. Nick legit shat himself. <laughs> Wait, what? In front of the other day. Wait, really? The other day? It was like half a year ago. Yeah. Wait, can I uh, grab the story? Like you I'm getting you diapers. Why? Because you <laughs> yourself. <laughs> you know what you do when babies sh themselves? You get them diapers? Yes, yes you do. Okay. My butt, okay, let's go. The owner of the mansion, Wynn, offered to take us on a tour through the most haunted rooms in the mansion, where dozens of people have died over the last 200 years. I wonder if anyone comes up here for Halloween. No one comes for Halloween because they're too afraid. Like, Are they? they never had a trick-or-treater, isn't that crazy? <laughs> All right, so welcome to Linville Manor. I like to start by taking everybody over to this beech tree, and many psychics have come to the house. They said that if I was gonna be guiding people here because it is such uh, a strong force in the paranormal uh, arena. There is something called tree hugging, which is not actually hugging the tree, literally just touching the tree and kind of like feeling the energy and uh, grounding yourself with the earth. And everybody, I invite you to do it. That also, I'm just crawling my arms. This sort of like brings you down into the roots underneath the house. So I would like add a ton of Throughout the night, if there's anything kind of that feels unpleasant or that you just have an energy about you or something that you just don't like, um, you can come back, touch the tree, sort of ground yourself. And then tomorrow when you leave, you may want to do it as well, just to make sure you're kind of like, are exactly as you were when you came here. Wynn's a super nice guy, but we've never met him before. So we don't know what his true intentions are. You said earlier that you're running an experiment with us. Yeah. What is that experiment? Oh, this is a comfy couch actually. Right? Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to hear about what we died on right. <laughs> So when I got the house, it was completely stripped. Like they were going to bulldoze this thing. Weeks after being here, I was specifically in this room and I started to hear noises coming from the dining room. I would go in there, nothing would be moved. At times the dog would come in here and just like freeze and either stare into that way 
or stare right here at this doorway. <laughs> Once things did start to become like made known that this is a paranormal hub and people started you know, coming in with gear, coming in with knowledge, um, they started having experiences that lined up to say like around 111 at night, things do start to kind of ramp up and become more active. I'm setting an alarm. Like something is watching. <laughs> A group that was able to connect with them said that the ghosts literally gather in this room at 111. So this is sort of like the gathering room for the spirits. We'll leave it at that. This room is like the creepiest to me. I have a feeling that they like built on top of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of times she'll come in here in the morning and this chair will literally be moved right here facing out the back door. When I first moved in, I thought, okay, well, a lot of guests must like sitting here and like looking out. Um, but then guests started coming to me and said, you know, are you downstairs at night, like moving the furniture? Like, I thought you didn't come into this area. And I'm like, I haven't been down there. If I sit in uh, their chair, will that be bad? I mean, no one's ever done it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Don't get mad, I'm gonna sit in your chair. <laughs> I just sat on their lap. Yeah, you can get possessed. I think like his name the... is WWW. I think the girls wanna take a mid tour shot. That's what I'm mid tour shot. Mid tour shot. Would you like to join us? Sure. Yeah, let's okay. do it. Mid tour. WWW, let's go take a shot. Wynn offered us a drink he claimed was stronger than tequila, but we noticed that he poured himself a separate glass in the kitchen. This isn't gonna be part of some like ritual. Is oh it? my gosh. <laughs> this feels like the start of where it happens. Everyone takes the shot. And then we go to the basement. <laughs> Let's do it. Cheers. With our host. This is where we to sacrifice France. one of you two. It's me. It's gonna be me. <laughs> Let's go to Ghost. Ali, right. welcome to the Walsh family. <laughs> to the friends, present, past, and future. Oh, a toast to the ghosts and all those who dwell in this home. And so the ritual begins. Dude, I'm so fing high. <laughs> I can't do it. Let me get another. <laughs> Are your rods working? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. That's oh my god. <gasps> yeah. There's a ghost. So they, they tend to kind of come back when you're not paying attention. Oh, okay, okay. true. So it, <gasps> it's oh the hole. It's gosh. the hole. It's literally that's the hole. Nuts. Is there something under here? <laughs> oh, we're going to the basement. It's right down. Oh, that's the basement? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I honestly have no idea what this does. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Brent! Brent, ask the ghost if you can that's, come back here and like play with it. That's like disrespectful as shit. <laughs> Wait, why are you backing up? <laughs> He's learned enough Wait, from being in this house no that he knows if people are gonna pull some shit no to one step away. Never stuck anything in that hole before. <laughs> in addition to like the spooky people things, there are some kind of creepy animal stories. A ghost cat named Shadow. That one. So now this is a bobcat from Tennessee that killed okay. my chickens once, and then my dog killed him. So oh, it's all it all happened by nature, natural Wait, selection. Like that's taxidermy. Yeah. Holy no, God. he's alive. <laughs> Has anyone ever pet him before? Yeah. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's mind blowing. All of this and you're freaked out about the cat. <laughs> yeah, like, if you're sitting me. around anywhere in the house and you start to oh, pull no. on your ankles, it might be the ghost cat Oh, I've been feeling oh, stuff all over really my leg. Yes. Really? He has yeah. been feeling an oh, animal right, rubbing against him. Something's, something's gonna come to that. on my leg here. I feel like there's a ghost like on my leg just like grinding up. Oh, it's, it's, it's mm. Barky the dog. The ghost dog. In the family cemetery, there's literally revolutionary war soldiers, famous doctors, of the area and then in the back corner there's a grave for the cat shadow who lived here for 19 years mm. long live shadow so now we go to the base no he said that way too easily but you said that about your life no i'm getting no, a weird feeling down there. i'm literally get oh shaky go. of course that it's all clear Roger jen clear. do you have your crystals <laughs> <laughs> i feel like we should get the crystals <laughs> calm down oh, the i don't like it we'll stay clear i don't <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> <laughs> Down here. We're gonna lift. Oh my god! Tiki bars and speakeasies. This is gonna be a tiki which is a speakeasy <laughs> with a tiki bar. What? Yes. Yeah, so that's pretty really legendary. Down here, even though it's the creepy basement, there really wasn't much going on. However, last fall when I got my ideas for the tiki <laughs> Trademark. No one is taking that. <laughs> this safe needed to get out of here because it weighs a freaking ton. In addition, I had a boiler system down here mm. that made its way out, but it did crack the foundation down here. Okay. So, but that's not bad. I mean, that doesn't, <laughs> that's okay. But it kind of upset whatever was down here. 
So not long after that, I would be down here pumping iron, and I see a shadow pass, and then this thing just comes flying out. Oh, Julie. All sorts of stuff that this oh, what, what? oh, wow. Oh, wow. I know, I was pointing at Julie. Please stop. It wasn't pointing at Julie. I don't it know was. if it was it's this way or down. At the floor. Oh, it, it got scared. Like there was a group of country band here, like, playing music for a local event. The last night that they were here, they said that one of their party members was walking by here, and she just glanced, and in this room she saw a man with a golf club. <laughs> Never heard that before. <laughs> but for you especially, oh, wow. I went and got a golf club today, <laughs> and I thought that since you were experimenting, that we would put it in here and see. Whoa. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, a man at the golf club was in this room, and now it's going. This off. is crazy. And a this, golf club wait, is going. It off. hasn't done this oh. ever before. So audience Yo. also like this. Touch it, this touch measures it. You're gonna electric explode. Uh, magnetic it, frequencies. Uh, wait, look. If you touch range. that, I want you to. Oh, it turned off when you dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well it worked. So. Hey. Oh, 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 he didn't want to be put away. He didn't want to be put away. He's mad that he's we not, put him away. He was happy. Crazy. You know? He's standing over there. He's not done. Oh, the colors that. go brrr. That's so strange. That is actually fing nice. This is, is obviously really something lot. for you guys to test. Does that work? So, <laughs> okay. job done. Yes. <laughs> Before you explain anything about this room, yeah. when I walked into this room, it felt like. I felt significantly heavier for some reason. Well, I think it's more or less because this was Gladys Johnson's room and she passed away in this room of brain cancer. Oh! So some people walk oh. in this room and they feel like a heaviness or like even like pressure in their head, like a headache. I'm not sleeping here. No. <laughs> it's a great room. That's no the most comfortable bed. I know. <laughs> it is. So this is the study bedroom. So apparently there was a group that made contact in here and they said that the entity said two things that he liked women and he liked whiskey. Jen, so do you. <laughs> do I have to watch my whiskey and my woman? <laughs> Maybe this is her room, I don't know. Yeah. There's so much in common, Mom. I mentioned this to the, the actual ancestors of the Bowie family and they said, well, we have one of the ancestors that went by WWW Bowie. They said he went by WWW because he liked women, whiskey, and wine. Ew. That was it. Okay. Me too. Oh. W W Jen. <laughs> and what point do you think the sacrifice happens? Yeah. Now that he feels, I don't feel heavy, 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 heavy. Now that we've taken the stuff like that can trigger. Oh, it feels good. I like the dinosaurs. I like the grass. We've taken the stuff. We took the the cold shot. No, when does the dying happen? <laughs> the stuff that You're we probably shit. shouldn't take from people that we don't know for more than five minutes. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly what our parents out taught out us about strange danger. Yep. So, all right. That brings oh, us. We're getting close. Right. Oh no. That brings that's us scary. to this room, the conservatory. Multiple times people have walked in here and they've said, oh. You put me in here with him. I was like, I, what are you talking about? They're like, no, no, there's there's somebody, there's some guy that's in this room. As Wynn told us the stories well, of all those who died in the mansion, right where we were standing, it started feeling more and more unlikely that this group would make it through the entire night. They would report that they saw a man standing at the foot of the bed who had no eyes. Jolie and Allie were petrified and wanted to go home, but everyone was too drunk or too high to drive back. So it looks like we're fucked. You said earlier that you you're running an experiment with us. Yeah. What is that experiment? It's the golf club. And that was it? Okay. I mean, that's all, I mean, that was it. <laughs> okay, I gotcha. All right. Well, that's it. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. much. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. That was honestly fantastic. Yeah. And we're all like a part of it too. So yeah. it's not like yeah. you go to a museum and it's like, look at the exhibit. It's like, no, we are the exhibit. Yeah. Wind disappeared into an unknown part of the house, leaving us to question our own sanity. What's real and what's just an illusion of our minds? Are we simply animals on exhibit? Are we being watched? Mama Jen is going to try to raise like, WWW from like, the dead. So Mama Jen, raise your whiskey in the ass. Stop, stop, stop. Raise your whiskey in the ass. Please, please stop. I, I like that shit freaks me out. I hate that. W-W-W. Like <laughs> we are offering you an entire glass of whiskey. No, it's mine. <laughs> you can watch me drink it. You have to no, fight I'm Mama Jen. Uh, Wait, that's actually crazy. Hold it at the bottom. Boy, I saw something. <laughs> 
your shadow. As the night went on, the group felt a wave of heaviness. I don't know if it was because the house was actually haunted or we were potentially poisoned by wind. When he was talking about the green room and he was like, so when people go in, they have like a sense of dizziness and a weight on their chest and like they have visions. I was like, these are like the signs of carbon monoxide. <laughs> 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 they are. And mold. What if this house is possessed by aliens? <laughs> well, that's a theory. You guys are so f***ing <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Stay. Okay, everyone's choosing where they're sleeping right now. I'm sleeping on this couch right here. This is a safe zone right in the center of the house. Not on the creepy edge where a lot of people have died and where apparently you see the guy with no eyes or whatever. So where are you guys sleeping? I'm sleeping with the no eye man. He's going to keep me comfy at night. Corey literally took a woman's dress. It's a bed from sheet. From one of the rooms. I think. I'm pretty sure it's a bed sheet. What are you doing with that? I'm gonna put it up my butt and see if I can put floss through my mouth. <laughs> You're covering up the mirror. It's almost 111. There you go. Checking in. It's 111 right now. This is when the spirits gather in this room to have a meeting about how they're gonna murder the idiot, pathetic YouTubers who are in their house. Like, Look, it's 111. It's 111. Show it. oh, well, it's now it's 112. Oh, we, we missed it by been, one minute. Uh, we've been here. It's been a is haunted? <gasps> Ellie, it's the time. It's in your the phone. time is haunted. Uh, oh, time. behind you, behind you. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. It's don't scary. do that. No, what we really should do is go turn off all the lights. Why? But well, then you'll see ghosts. Oh, good idea. No, never mind. I'm kidding. No, just for a second. No, I'm kidding. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I don't. Oh, well, there we go. Let's play hide and seek. Yeah. yeah, let's play a game of hide and seek. No. Absolutely no. not. I'll, I'll be the seeker. Uh, getting your pretty sustained. You know what, what honestly, yeah. to tell you the Is there anyone with us right now? Join us. For the purposes of this video, I might sacrifice myself in the red room and take the risk of seeing paranormal activity. The most haunted room in the house. You're gonna commit to sleeping in this room? I mean, I might. The only creepy part is like, this window is fucked. The one piece in the bed? Yeah. Do you realize there's a mirror of it behind you? <laughs> And there's a dark closet here, and a mirror to the right of your room, and then another yeah, window. That, that, that mirror is not that cool. <laughs> uh, this three combo is the reason why if anything moves in this room, your senses get exploded from all sides and you have no idea what the f is going on. Why does it feel like shit is crawling on my legs? I have a girlfriend to take care of. Nick, you are such a pussy. Your girlfriend's taking care of you. No, she's you are not. not. Stop saying you're taking care of your girlfriend, because you're you not. Are you kidding me? She's taking care of no you. Way. Yeah. You. Yeah. You, How dare you both say of you, that? Both of you can't even take care of each other. Yeah, we can. She literally said, Nick, you can't take care of me. What's going on? We're fighting. Can you guys get out of my room? Me and WWW are trying to have a night together and you're ruining it. Oh my God. What I'm if Devorah finds I out? I mean, what if Devorah founds out you were found banging? Out. Found, 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 found. She, she would get mad. <laughs> I think Devorah would get mad. I think I could actually make her mad. I'd be like, yeah, last night, like I was staying in this place and like, I one of the ghosts. <laughs> She'd probably get really jealous. That should, that should be Devorah, yeah. <laughs> You should FaceTime her and be like, well, Honestly, I kind of want you to do that because I want to hear about it in the podcast where she seriously is talking about how upset she is that you f***ed the ghost. Yes. Can we go home now? Ah. Brandon. Oh God, I'm good you were morning. Like that, man. You must have popped your ass way up every time I tried to fall asleep. My body literally like violently went numb. So that's why I couldn't sleep. Yeah. <laughs> it was really, it was bizarre. I had Julie, a similar Julie, they turned their mirror around. I almost did that. Yeah, I almost turned the mirror around. Didn't Corey cover his up with a sheet too? Did he? Yeah. 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 Okay, there you go. The upstairs is clogged. He needs to fix that shit. <laughs> Nick took his shit and then it got clogged. Nick, your shit clogged the toilet. I feel like this is like Outlander. Like ants I feel like when we touch it, we're gonna go into another dimension, another time period. And now you're covered in ants. I am. <laughs> So guys, it's official. We survived the Linville Manor until somebody gets followed back by a ghost. Uh-uh, it's not happening. I feel like it's gonna be you for some reason, mom. Why, Brandon? <laughs> you I don't know. Claudia, I feel Claudia like... wrote to me and said, I can't believe you're doing that. You better make sure you sage. Nick texted at like 2 a.m. being like, is everyone okay? <laughs> <laughs> Did you sh 
Nope. It, it was the uh, IBS demons. <laughs> Fucking crazy, man. Do you think you can stick oh, yeah. one of these in your butt? Uh, easily. Nick, how about you, too, maybe? I'm more of a throat goat. 